Hi, the topic of today's video is how to use a digital multimeter. This is the multimeter that you'll be using in the practicals this semester. It is quite a nice model that includes an auto-ranging functionality. This means that the multimeter will determine which range of voltages, currents or ohms to measure without any input from you. You will, however, need to tell it what it is that you want to measure. This is where this big dial and the connectors at the bottom come in. First off, take a look at the connectors at the bottom. You will see that the one in the middle is black and the two outer connectors are red. From our DC power supply video, we know that we typically use black for ground or negative and red for positive. The same applies here. So we know that the negative terminal needs to be plugged into the black connector. Then, you will also see that the red connector on the left is labeled A. This means that if we want to measure current, we need to plug our positive lead into this connector. Using the same reasoning, we know that if we want to measure voltage, resistance or capacitance, we need to plug our positive lead into the connector on the right. The same black connector is used for all measurements. Next up, we look at this big dial. Once we have ensured that we have plugged our leads into the correct connectors, we need to select which measurement we want to make on this dial. The first position will measure an RMS value for AC voltages. We leave the detail of that for when you've covered the theory in class. The next position will measure DC voltage. This is the setting you need to use in practical one to measure the voltages. The third position is to measure small AC voltages. The fourth position is used to measure resistance. Again, you need to use this setting when measuring resistance in practical one. You can also measure continuity with this setting. This functionality is very handy when trying to determine whether we have proper electrical connection between two points, and of course, to see if we have a short circuit somewhere in our circuit. The fifth position is for measuring capacitance. We will also leave that until you've covered the theory in class. And the last position is to measure all forms of current. Now, for an example, I'm going to look at a small circuit containing two series resistors of equal value. Using voltage division, we know that the voltage across each resistor needs to be half the voltage across both the resistors. I have decided to use 1 kilo ohm resistors and a 10 volt supply. Here is the circuit built on the breadboard. Since I want to measure DC voltage, I plug the red wire into this connector and I select DC voltage on the dial. What I'm trying to measure is the following voltages, VT, V1 and V2. We expect VT to be the same value as the supply voltage and V1 and V2 to be 5 volts each due to voltage division. When making measurements like this, it is always handy to know what values you expect to measure. Then it is easy to know whether something is wrong with the setup of your circuit and is also a good starting point for debugging a circuit. Now we are ready to make our measurements. Remember that we measure voltage in parallel or across the component in question. So we start with touching the black terminal on the minus sign of VT and the red terminal where the plus sign is, like this. There we can see our measurements on the multimeter and it is close enough to the expected value. We can now measure V1 and V2 as well. Here's V1 and here is V2. You can see that they are also very close to our expected values. So we have confirmation that we built our circuits correct. If we were to swap the red and the black terminals around, we are in effect inverting our measurements, so we would expect to measure a negative voltage, like this. You can see that the value is negative 10 now. Next up, we are going to measure current, so let's make the necessary adjustments to the multimeter. The red connector needs to be moved to this side, and we need to adjust the dial to the current setting. Remember that we need to measure current in series with the circuit, so we need to disconnect the red lead or positive lead of the supply voltage and connect it to the red lead of the multimeter. Then we need to connect the black terminal of the multimeter to the rest of the circuit. It is best to use crocodile clips for this to ensure proper electrical connection. 
For safety, please make sure that you turn off the output of the power supply before making these adjustments to the circuit. Now we can measure the current. Again, we can see that it is close enough to the expected value, which means that it didn't make any mistakes pulling the circuit. Lastly, we are going to do some quick measurements of resistance. Readjust the connections and the dial for measuring resistance. We also measure resistance in parallel, so we simply need to touch the terminals of the multimeter on either side of the resistor we are trying to measure. We can see that the resistance we measure is very close to the specified value of 1 kilo ohm. So again, our measurement is reasonable. Be very careful not to measure resistances when the resistor is connected to a circuit. Why do you think that is? This then concludes our video on how to use a multimeter. If you have any further questions, do not hesitate to ask Demi or one of the lecturers. Thank you.